My name is Muhammad Awais Ahmed. I am from the University of Oulu. Uh, today I'm going to share the Kanban research which was done in the University of Oulu in a collaboration with the Finnish software industry. Uh, so let's start it. Uh, basically, uh, in the software uh, engineering department in University of Oulu, we have a group, research group called M Group, which is uh, consists of five professors, two FD Pro Finnish distinguished professors, six postdocs, and more than 40 uh, PhD students currently working uh, in different uh, research topics. Uh, to give you a little bit of background about our group, uh, last year it was uh, under the external evaluation, our group was ranked as excellent, uh, and it's a proven partner of ISERN, International Software Engineering Research Network, uh, which is also a founding member of that, that group. Uh, mainly, uh, the M group take part in most of the large European projects. <clears throat> uh, M group is working on different areas. Some of the topics are like software engineering methods and processes, data analytics, uh, uh, privacy, security. Uh, these are the main uh, areas where we are currently doing our research. Uh, how we do it, uh, we have a large portfolio of national and international uh, research projects, uh, which is uh, some of the projects are continuously under preparation with the industrial partners. Uh, in all the projects, that the data which I am presenting today also, these, all those projects are the European projects or some of the national projects in which uh, large Finnish universities and other research institutes take part. Uh, the funding usually comes for all those projects from the European Union uh, and TECES, Finnish Funding Agency for Technology and Innovation and Academy of Finland. Uh, how we collect the data or how what our empirical methods we are using uh, in our work, so uh, qualitative and qualitative research approaches, we are using it. Uh, the qual qualitative, in a broader sense, we can say the study of an object in natural settings. Uh, on the other hand, in the quantitative research, we are investigating uh, a phenomena or a topic or area uh, which we are looking to quantify relationship compared to one or two groups. Uh, and the, the, date, the results which I am presenting it today, and that we use these both approaches. Uh, some of the pro uh, example of the projects in which we collected these, uh, this data uh, and the results which I'm sharing about the Kanban uh, is the first one is the cloud program. Uh, Cloud program aims to significantly improve the competitive position of the Finnish uh, software intensive industry in the global market. That was the main aim of this project, which was started in 2010 and completed in 2013. Uh, these are the, the, we have the six main work packages or areas which our Finnish software industry were focusing. Uh, M Group was, uh, was more focused on the lean software enterprise and was leading this work package. Uh, in this work package, we have three main themes, uh, agile and lean transformation assessment in all those large uh, comp Finnish companies. Uh, second was piloting the goal question matrix plus strategies, GQM plus strategies approach and predictive testing. The third one is about, uh, these were the three uh, main approaches. Uh, the Kanban uh, research comes under the umbrella of agile and lean transformation assessment. Uh, some of the partners uh, in this project were 
like Nokia, uh, NSN, VTT, uh, Telesonera, and some of the uh, biggest universities in Finland. Uh, second project which uh, last year started, uh, one of the biggest national projects of Finland, the budget is around 80 million euros for four years. Uh, the main aim is to make the foundation and prepare the Finnish software uh, companies for this digital economy. Uh, the Need for Speed uh, project consortium include uh, a mixture of different partners, uh, large soft software companies, uh, SMEs, uh, research partners, uh, and research institutes. Uh, but mainly 70% of the partners are the industry. Uh, we have three main areas in this project which we are focusing. Uh, the first one is delivering value in real time. Second is deep customer insight and Mercury business. Uh, this Kanban work was done in the first uh, work package, delivering value in real time. Uh, some of the key partners in this uh, project is uh, F-Secure, Ericsson, NSN, Tieto. Uh, some of these uh, on the, uh, and some of the universities like University of Helsinki, Aalto University, Abu Academy. These are the partners in this project. So, going to the to the Kanban topic. Let's have a look of Agile software uh, and software development. How it is reported all, all those experiences in the literature. So a study conducted by a Norwegian scientist, a professor, uh, in 2012 published in the Journal of System and Software. Uh, he thoroughly go through the literature, systematically conduct a literature review, and make this very nice graph which we can see that how the people or the industry are sharing their experiences with the, with the community. So the trend starts from 2001 and it's going up uh, in all those years. Uh, which countries are more sharing their experiences and reporting all uh, agile uh, stuff in the, in the literature? Uh, are mostly the United States, uh, Canada, Finland, Germany. They, those are the, the big uh, countries which are sharing all their uh, results about Agile. Uh, in the same way, we in M Group, we conducted a systematic literature review to see how the things, how Kanban community is sharing their experiences in the scientific literature. So based on our protocol, which is, uh, we see that the most uh, pub, the people or the practitioners start sharing their experiences started from 2009, and after, and after that, it's growing up. Uh, before that, no peer review or scientific study is published, or we didn't find it due in in our study. Uh, but we get a motivation uh, for our study uh, to investigate Kanban, that we can see that there are many people are writing blogs and sharing their experiences on different uh, social media sites that, okay, uh, Kanban is very good for, for everything, for everything, uh, but that doesn't report it in a scientific literature with a clear evidence. So we try to investigate it in the Finnish software industry, that how the fin Finnish software industry is using it uh, and what they achieved it. So we formulate three research questions that, why is Kanban used in the software companies? Uh, second one, what are the benefits of using Kanban? Uh, and during this uh, usage, or when starting adopting it, what kind of challenges they are facing. And all these, the, this, these questions comes 
from the literature or uh, we try to see it that how the books or the practitioner blogs say about it and how is the real software industry people are doing it. So first we started uh, make a survey on this topic that okay, uh, which is based on those literature study which we earlier conducted and make a survey and launch in the, with those uh, software companies using five point liquor scale. Survey was open for, for two weeks. Uh, responded were mainly developers and project managers and quite experienced uh, in using Kanban and in their field in software development. Uh, to complement the results, to mo discuss more in detail, we approach those respondents and have a deeper discussion on those results or those responses. So this was a little bit background of the of the research group of the projects and the research setting that how we did it. So the first motivation thing to answer the motivational question was the people are looking in the software industry are looking to 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 create transparency. That was the main thing, the visibility, those, those task prioritization, those are the key challenges for them. Uh, even though they are using partially or fully some agile or scrum or something, but still they have this problem. Uh, still they are looking, looking for, for new practices to improve the team communication and collaboration. Uh, Development flow is another part, which was the motivation they want to, to see it. Uh, stakeholder satisfaction, uh, reducing development cycle time and time to market, and increasing productivity. These were the key motivational factors for the uh, companies to start use Kanban. So then we, to answer the second research questions, that what you achieved, you have this motivation on one side, but now let's take, let's have a look of what you achieved so far. And from different areas, from starting from the portfolio level to the program level, to the lowest team level, and then different teams, software development, maintenance, support, from all those teams we can see and they're claiming that the we have improved the visibility and transparency of work. I don't know why the slide is not fully, some text is missing. So uh, they were claiming that the work is now become more visible and we can do much more transparent work. And this is one of the biggest example is the testing environment in, in the embedded systems uh, embedded uh, software companies which are working on embedded systems. Uh, that was one of the biggest example. Uh, second, the motivation they were having that to improve the team communication and collaboration. So by start using the Kanban, they say that we try, we improve the communication and coordination. So again, one of the uh, recent example is from the maintenance team, for example, the people were working uh, in very uh, isolated teams, and there was very less uh, communication before Kanban. But when they try to uh, implement the Kanban and put everything on a board and then try to discuss it more openly, their communication improved and it helps them to, to collaborate and do the things do the things very effectively, not like individual work. Before the Kanban, it, the work was like people doing, what the work was pushed to them, to the individual, they work on it, and they were unaware of the, of the connected people or other teams. But once uh, they started to, to use Kanban, introduce the Kanban, they see that communication improved, and now the focus is more on the work, not on the people. So the the team work collaboratively, uh, and which build trust uh, among the team also. Uh, people were, are easily approaching each other, 
and ask for help if they have some problem. Or another way, if someone is stuck in a work and they see that the sticker is not moving on the board, then the, uh, the rest of the team members try to help him. The third one is about they become more aware of the work. They get more focus on the work. Earlier, most of the time, they were prioritizing things all the time. Or the senior people are bringing more work or the management putting on the desk to do these things. So it was like not uh, every time the priorities and the work was changing. But now with the introduction of this Kanban, they, they have more focus on the work, understanding the process. And it's somehow forced them to stop switching the task from A to B all the time, or B to C, and that now they implement a strategy to focus on a task, finish it either individually or collectively, and then move on to the next one. Uh, these were the good things which they were reporting it. But then we asked, what is the problem? What is the ba bad side of this? So most of the people, they were of the, rest, the, the people who participated in, this, in these studies uh, mentioned it, even the program level managers and those uh, senior people, that not all the business lines people are aware of Kanban. Mostly the senior people in a very large organizations, uh, they are not aware of it, uh, that what is Kanban and how it helps. Uh, second biggest challenge was Lack of training. It was also the biggest challenge. Uh, lack of proper training. Uh, they started by peer mentoring or internal coaching, uh, but not real proper training was provided, uh, which leads to some other challenges. For example, the team was hard to, to put whip limit in one case, the, the, the coach was, ex, was sharing the experience that I asked from the team why you people are putting the, the whip limit. And they were like randomly putting the things and no clue that how we should do it. Uh, second was hard to prioritize the things because things are coming so frequently and not, they were not so, uh, it was difficult for them to to prioritize and focus on it. Not all the team, but some of the team reported it. Some of the team were like more focused and they can prioritize the things and don't change that much on a daily basis, but some of the teams reported it. And the root cause was that those teams didn't receive the proper training. Uh, that also leads to the, the lack of decision making or they don't have the authority even though some of the teams, they started implementing Kanban, but they were not fully, con they don't have control on the work. Still, the work was somehow pushed to the team, and the team was not fully, uh, don't have the full authority to, to, to pull it, not instead of pushing. Uh, the cultural thing, uh, resistance to change, that is, oh, okay, this is one of the common in, in every new thing which is coming to the, to the in industry or to the environment. We, ha we have some resistance. Uh, the problem was that people are not aware of it. What, what does it mean? What kind of problem we are solving it? Uh, in one case, it was the, the experience was shared by one of the senior person from the company that we know and we experiment and use Kanban in certain teams, but we cannot use, we are not fully confident to use it for a whole product, because for them, one, re the one release is one of, is huge thing. If they lose one of the release or they are failed, it means they are out of the business. 
and out of the business means there is no company. So no one is go or willing to take the risk. Uh, that is one of the reason. Uh, because there was, uh, which also leads to another problem, that incomplete planning of the Kanban. It was not properly planned that how to introduce it to the teams and how it should be done. So in a nutshell, we, we can see it that the motivation factors was to improve communication, time to market, improve time to market, and uh, increase the productivity. Uh, what we see, on the other hand, the benefits, that, okay, they achieve more, uh, more visibility of the work, improve the uh, communication. Uh, we didn't find anything related to the productivity. Uh, the team be uh, more aware of the work, better focus on their work. Uh, challenges was lack of experience, uh, proper, lack of proper training, and culture organization culture. Uh, some of the solutions which we propose are in the existence Kanban studies which was reported are educate the people, provide them proper training at all level, not only to a, a, a focus group. Uh, the second, if the company is going to start Kanban, so it's need commitment from the higher level management that and it's, it should come from top to down uh, level because it's from, the, from these studies we can see that if it is going from down to top, it's very difficult that the senior managers uh, accept these new th uh, processes. But if it comes from the top level to the down level, it's quite easy. Uh, not quite easy, but compare, uh, compare to, the, to the, from down to top is easy. Uh, sec the third one is if, if the team decided or the company decided that, okay, we can use or start to use Kanban, allow them some time to ex experiment and pilot it. Uh, don't expect from them quickly that in one night, they started the Kanban, and now they can solve everything. The last one is keep daily stand-up meeting regular. It's one of the important uh, uh, step, or what we can say that it, it's it's very important to to communicate what are the problems and how the team can do work more collaboratively. Uh, the other thing is the technical leadership is very important. We, we have to more focus on it, not only on the process that how to do the things, but the technical leadership. Uh, try to, to understand it, that the, the visual board use it, that how we could use and how it could uh, help us. Uh, third one is to encourage the team members that to help each other and give comments to each other work if something is uh, wrong. Not to criticize, but to help and work collaboratively. Uh, protect the teams from external tasks during the action phase, which means if the team is working on some critical task, the team leader should protect them that the the senior people don't bring more work to the, or to change the priorities during that action phase. Uh, consider that it also linked to the, to the limiting WIPs also. Uh, from, these, from these companies which we, uh, which we conducted the studies in these companies, uh, one of the best thing is that, which was reported, that blending the agile and Kanban practices together, uh, it works much better. So, uh, to sum up or to, to complete the presentation, we, I would, from the academia, I would say that we need much more industrial collaboration to report 
what are the success, what are the failures, and how the things are done in these companies. So we need to share more our experiences uh, to the community. Uh, the work which we are currently focusing in M Group is to have deeper understanding of Kanban transformation in various organizations, not only on the software, but some other uh, organizations also. Uh, we need uh, some of the, uh, to investigate application of Kanban in different levels, like how it is, uh, it is or it can be implemented, for example, on portfolio level or program level. Mostly we are talking about the, the team level, software development or maintenance or testing teams, but uh, some of the blogs, if you see it, or some of the papers which are talking about the portfolio management and Kanban, uh, we need some more uh, extensive studies and share those experiences. So from the industry, uh, I would invite you people to join us to conduct studies to allow deeper understanding of Kanban transformation in your organization. Thank you.